I mean, who doesn't remember this whole mess? And nearly 100 chihuahuas rescued from this van when it crashed near Santa Rosa months back. And now many of those dogs have recovered enough to find their forever homes. 35 chihuahuas, though, are going to be up for adoption very soon, like this weekend soon. Yeah, Spencer Schott has been following this story since that crash. Spencer, these little dogs have gone through so much since that time. They really have, Julie. Many of them suffered from broken bones from the crash or they had to recover from previous neglect. But now nearly all of them are fully recovered and ready for a new home. They've all been vetted, spayed and neutered, microchips, all vaccinations are done. Um, we did have some surgeries and those have recovered really well. All the, the dogs that we had doing physical therapy have come along really far. Chelsea Worley says it's a night and day difference from when these chihuahuas first came to our rescue in the East Mountains to now getting ready for adoption. I am um, glad that these dogs ended up with us because I don't know what would have happened had they not. I mean, given the history, we know that he was probably planning to dump these dogs somewhere and they would not have received vet care. They wouldn't be spayed and neutered. The cycle would just continue with them. And she says this recovery wouldn't have been possible without others jumping in to help. The support that we got from the community was huge. I think that uh, we had a volunteer that did a GoFundMe that covered, you know, it got to be upward of $10,000, which is was so appreciated. Not only are they grateful for all the donations, but also to the folks who are stepping up to give these dogs a forever home. The last adoption event was great. Um, we, you know, we had a line um, before we even got started, and we had taken 18 chihuahuas at that time, which is just the ones that we had that were spayed and neutered. Everyone was adopted in about an hour and a half. So this weekend, Worley is hoping for the same great turnout as they hold another adoption event at Wolfgang Bakery on Albuquerque's west side this Sunday, starting at 11. Now, I also checked in with the mayor of Santa Rosa to see if any charges will be filed against the driver. He told me they are working with the Animal Protection of New Mexico and the local district attorney to see if they were able to get any misdemeanor animal cruelty charges to stick.